Vintage versus Modern Aluminum Crochet Hooks. Hey folks, it's Mary, AKA Mercy Triumphs, and this is my channel, Slow Crochet. Today I am talking aluminum crochet hooks and I'm comparing vintage hooks to modern ones. So apologies in advance, you will be hearing lots of clanking of hooks. Just to clarify, today I will be looking at tapered aluminum crochet hooks. Here is an example of an inline hook, and here is an example of a tapered hook. They are different shapes and different sizes. Both of these are modern, but I'm only gonna be focusing on tapered crochet hooks today. Recently, I acquired some new Vintage Boy crochet hooks, and the difference immediately that is noticeable is in the boy logo. In the modern crochet hooks, the word boy is more of a straight font versus in the vintage hook, it is a cursive font. So that is a clue that the hook that you are using is indeed vintage. The other clue might be in how it is labeled. In the modern hook, we have the size I and then the number nine for the American crochet hook sizing. And it also has the millimeterage. But on the vintage hook, it only has the letter name. So I am not sure, I'm not an expert on the boy company or really on any of these hook manufacturers, but that is one clue as to the fact that these hooks are no longer in production anymore. You can see that in various sizes and also the fact that the older ones are stamped that they are made in the USA is a big clue as well. I'm not sure exactly where the modern hooks are made, perhaps China, perhaps India, somewhere overseas, but the ones that are older will say that they are made in the USA. So let's look at some hooks. The first ones I wanna show you really briefly, these are not the same size. I have a size E and a size F, but I wanted you to be able to see close up the differences in the shapes. So here we are slightly turning around, but I want you to notice the difference in how blunt the tip of the hook is versus how pointy. And I'd also like you to notice the top of the hook right here, is that more blunt or pointy? Also, as you go up into the neck, is it a smooth transition or is there a little indentation that can help grab the yarn? In terms of size, these two are about the same and their thumb grips start at the same place. Now let's move on to a size eye hook. Go ahead and measure these out right here for now. And again, they are about the same height, not really any difference there, and the thumb grip lands in about the same place. Let's look at the head shape. This is where, to me, it gets interesting. The lighter green is the modern, and the darker green is the vintage. You can start to see as I turn how sharply pointed the modern hook is versus how slightly blunted or almost more of an egg shape or rounded off the vintage one is. You can also see as it catches in the light there that the vintage hook has more of that indentation right up here in the throat versus the modern one that's a bit smoother there. So here we are, nice and close, and watch how it catches the light as it turns. Do you see the differences there? Let's look at these vintage versus modern size K hooks. These are 6.5 millimeter hooks. I have the blue modern and the vintage yellow. And let's look to see, do you see how the angles are slightly different on the heads as they come up off the back and around? And as we turn, we start to see slight differences in the shape of that hook itself, that end point there. In the modern one, it's a bit more blunted off versus in the vintage one, it's nicely rounded around. Again, we're seeing that there's a slight indentation up around the hook that helps you grab that yarn versus a smoother transition overall in the modern one. You can also see here from the back, a smoother, more parabola shape in the vintage hook versus a more blunted off, flattened off top in the modern hook. I'm gonna take a minute now to look at a size J hook that is not exactly vintage, but it's no longer the same style that's being produced. As I understand, the boy company no longer makes six millimeter hooks as a size J. They have a different millimeterage 
for the J size. This one, is, I would not consider it vintage, but then again, I got it when I was in college, and that was over 20 years ago at this point. With this size J, you see more similarities to that vintage style than you do to the more modern style. So do keep that in mind. If you are looking to expand your repertoire of hook sizes and you like a tapered hook and you like the boy brand, keep an eye out for the J hooks in particular. It may surprise you that some of the more modern looking ones are still somewhat vintage at this point. I also wanna take a minute and add in my hero hook into the mix just to show a bit of comparison. I have done previous videos about my hero hooks in the past, but I wanted to compare the pink hero to the dark green vintage boy, and you can see some similarities there that are different from the modern eye. So as you go up along this line here, you almost see a straight line curving up, and then the hook kind of dips down into a little divot there. You see something very similar in the vintage boy, but you don't get that at all in the modern boy. On the modern boy, we're kind of all on the same plane here along this side instead of dipping in, but the hero and the vintage boy have that similar shape. Now when it comes to the hook itself, the modern boy is definitely pointier versus the hero that is definitely more of a trapezoid, more blunted off, and then the vintage boy is rounded off. Finally, let's look at the tops of these hooks. On the modern boy, it's quite narrow up at the top here. On the vintage boy, it's a little bit wider, but on the hero, it's the widest still, and yet it comes up to a distinct point at the top. You can see that point in profile even more. Now, speaking of profile, we see that we're quite narrow in here. The hook itself is narrower, and it gets a little bit larger on the vintage boy. And then on the hero, it's about the same length, but you can still see slight variations in these three hooks. Just to be thorough, I do have two vintage hero Tunisian crochet or Afghan hooks. These are both made in the USA. We have a size I and a size J. And for the sake of comparison, I'm gonna take the size I and compare it to the regular size I here. So as you see, even these are not quite the same. In the Tunisian crochet hook, it's narrower for a bit longer and even the angles are a bit narrower. The hook itself is rounder overall and it doesn't have that same sharp point. Coming up into the throat on the Tunisian hook, we have a softer glide in versus on the standard crochet hook. It's a bit more pronounced as you glide into that space. So those are the differences that I've noticed in between both the vintage boys and then even comparing it to a hero. Now I am not an expert on these companies. I'm not an expert on the history of crochet. Other people have done a bit more research and can tell you more, but I can guarantee that not all hooks are created the same. And perhaps the differences are not as large as you think. In crochet, because you're doing so much in such a small space, you're using your fine motor skills, a small variation in the shape of the hook or even where you hold it can make a difference in how a tool feels in your hand. But are one set of hooks superior than the other? Are vintage hooks superior to modern hooks? Or are there no longer any companies making the exact same shape hooks as the Hero Company did back in the day? Well. Perhaps and perhaps not. My heart with this video is to help anyone that's starting to feel nervous that, oh, their crochet experience isn't the best because they don't have the special vintage hooks. I wanna encourage you that, well, number one, the differences in these tools is very slight. Number two, hooks have changed over time and I'm sure will continue to do so. Number three, those variations are very small and ultimately the question is, do you have peace and joy in creating what you're making? There are people in all different art forms that swear by the tools that they use. That does not mean that other artists won't find equal joy and be able to create beautiful things using what they have. 
So if you find your heart getting a little nervous or wondering if Hero Hooks really are the best that ever was and you're getting nervous because the prices are going up when they're being found, I would encourage you, take a deep breath and remember what brought you to crochet to begin with. In my personal experience, I'm actually finding that the finish on the hook, this more matte finish, is really enjoyable to me. But then again, every hook has its own joys and its own beauties and they bring out not very big differences, but I'll have different memories with the projects I use with each one. So I hope that this video has helped you. I hope it's reassured you and I hope it's been interesting to you to take a look at some of the differences in these vintage versus modern hooks. Thank you so much for spending your time with me today. If I'm not your cup of tea, thank you so much for listening this long. I do appreciate it and I do hope I'll see you again soon. Bye.